Mars is in Gemini and it's going to be in conjunction with Rahu and also is going to be co-joined with Mercury. And if I'm not mistaken, Mercury could also be going retrograde soon after. So, Mars is a planet you have to remember if you've been listening to my videos and getting it drilled into your system that Mars is a planet of fire energies. My, Mars is always attracting the fire energies, making you resilient, making you strong, making you aggressive and making, making you um, uh, inculcate the killer instinct in you. But the destructive aspect of Mars is that you can become over aggressive, you can become restless, you can actually um, tread where the angels fear to tread and take all sorts of risks and adventures. And if you give a little, pay a little bit of attention to yourself, we all there 100% in various degrees are undergoing a very restless energy about us. There is restlessness, we feel impatient, we tend to feel so fragile at times that somebody has passed a small little remark and you will soon get affected by it and probably feel emotional about it. So perceptions are getting walked up. Every individual is not being able to understand what is happening to himself or why are the other people reacting the way they are reacting. Now this is all the influence of Mars in the sign of Gemini and Rahu is already there. So what does Rahu do? Rahu gives us illusions. Rahu gives us and um, dangles all those carrots in front of us. Rahu is an air energy which gives you all these visualizations. Now whether those visualizations are practical or not practical is what you need to take the reality check. But because Mars is joining Rahu, chances are that you may not take reality checks and you may rush into things headlong. And whenever we rush into things headlong without being practical or taking reality checks, what exactly happens? We actually go and hit a wall and things really don't materialize the way we had envisioned or the way it was shown to us. So Rahu is creating an illusionary picture. It's creating those visions in front of you. If you can handle your Mars energy with the strength of your mind and take reality checks, be practical, be pragmatic and then move forward, chances are that you can actually use these energies in a very, very constructive way. But if you're going to rush headlong and you're just going to get carried away by whatever things that are shown in front of you or thrown in front of you, chances are that you can become self-destructive. Now since soon it's going to be joined with Mercury, what is going to happen is you may talk without thinking, you may speak certain words which you may not realize but in the garb of thinking that you are being straightforward, chances are you may be destroying your own friendships. Chances are that you, because see, when Mars energy is taken, that is the fire energy is playing with the air energy and double air energy with the mercury, what happens that you may not be able to express yourself with your words as to what you are thinking and the perception by the other person could be taken wrong. So explaining yourself clearly or probably slowly and steadily or speaking the language in which the other person can understand is going to be a humongous task in the month of June till July end. So <laughs> my best bet during this time is Try to maintain silence, try to keep quiet and probably indulge in your hobbies and do not be intrusive in the lives of others. If some good things, opportunities are coming your way, give it a reality check, be pragmatic, be practical, look into your budget, see whether you are capable of doing certain things and then proceed forward. Now this is going to have a very very strong impact on people of different ages. Like for example the children. 
they probably would try uh, going and doing things in such a notorious manner or naughty manner that they can hurt themselves if they are not careful. But the parents cannot stop the children from playing, right? So what you could do is allow the children to play but make sure that they are within your vicinity. That's a practical approach. Teenagers, since this is a time where the rainy season, monsoon is going to come in, there is a lot of heat that has been generated. So the mines are actually not working so conducively to the weather, you tend to get into escape routes. So there are things that you would like to test and try out like for example smoking or drugs or drinking or just chilling out saying we are chilling out with a beer bottle or uh, you know the things that can escalate your energies because you are trying to soothe those restless energies of yours but in actually you are getting into self-destruction. Now see the Rahu is playing the gamut, it's playing the picture, it's giving you the uh, thing that okay it's so colourful, life can be very good but it's your mind playing the games with you having been affected by the energies of Rahu, the Mars energy in you are saying let's try it, so what? And chances are that again if you are not practical you can end into a very bad way or if you are practical, you could test and try all these things and yet come out of it unscathed. When Mercury joins in, it starts the verbal banter. The verbal banter with your own psych, the verbal banter with other people. So basically, your own words can confuse you. And this is the time in June, July, even those who are not used to writing in a diary, if you want to actually keep a track of what I am saying, you all must maintain a diary of what exactly is it happening to you. And having accepted the fact that we are all feeling very restless, here I would say even I am very restless. It has affected me too. Since morning before the video shoots, I actually thought, should I do it, shouldn't I do it? My mind was restless and then uh, there were so many ideas also coming at the same time. Now how to actually down these uh, ideas or uh, what should I do? I kept a note, a pen and a paper beside me and I just wrote down and Trust me, I couldn't complete the sentences, but there were words that I wrote down which helped me ground my energies, which helped me um, feel very, very happy that yes, if I can implement these ideas, my life could be much better or I would be able to have a good reach out to my clients and make them aware that they are also undergoing the same energies of aggressiveness, of restlessness, of um, impatience or, or even thinking that where are we going? Now these are the times when elderly people or I would say from the mid age, from 40 onwards or 45 onwards, people start questioning their own existence. This is the time when people start wondering, am I going on the right track or not on the right track? What am I doing? Why am I feeling lost? Do I need to re-strategize myself? Do I need to renew my friendships or do I need to move on? These are the times when actually the heat in your body is so much that you tend to feel acidic, you, you feel as if you're, you're getting some kind of a nausea or you, your digestive system goes for a sex or you just feel that you need to cool down but how either you will want to just go, you know, just go out on your own or you would just like to go and sweat it out. There are so many things that it will come avidly in your mind. Now, do, do you need to pay too much of attention to what you are thinking? My answer is no. There is a very simple uh, remedy for it. A is as the monsoon is setting in, the pre showers are there. Go enjoy the rain. Even if some of us could look out of the window and um, think that what's so great about it, but try looking at it with a new eye, try looking at it with a keen eye. Now all these configurations are also, see there is definitely, 
whether you believe in God or whether you don't believe in God, there is definitely a supreme power above us that is handling all these things in a very organized way and the management is superb. So when these planets configurations come into place like uh, or into play like um, uh, the Sun in Gemini, then Rahu in Gemini, Mercury there in Gemini and then the Mars entry and conjoining all these planets, the reflection is such that it is actually telling your mind and body, relax. Relax and observe. Relax, observe and balance the energies in your body. And always we point fingers at other people, people who are a little restless or who are feeling um, completely over energetic or people who are becoming very sensitive and the ego is fragile. If you relax and observe, you yourself are also undergoing the same emotions. And the answer to all these emotions is the imbalance of the energies in the body and the energies are demanding your psyche to introspect, it's demanding to get in a little bit of self-indulgence and then look into your health. Your health is of paramount importance during this configuration. You need to say that, you, are you, you need to question yourself, are you following a healthy diet? Are you following a healthy series of thoughts? Are you feeling good about yourself? If you're feeling good about yourself, then carry on. But if you're not feeling good about yourself and you want certain uh, changes to be made, whether it is personal or professional, affecting your relationships which are personal or professional, or even your career and your money, a little bit of introspection into those areas of your life, you will get the answers yourself. So this configuration, it may be volatile, it may be erratic, but like they say, there is a lull before the storm and a cleanliness after the storm, a peace after the storm is what you will get once this configuration is moving direct again in its own directions.